Washington has long boasted about its democracy, calling itself a shiny city on a hill. The shame was fading off the city in a way that applauded and disillusioned the world on Wednesday, when protesters breached the Capitol Hill. This is Xinhua Commentary, the best window on China's views. I'm John Lee in Beijing. Angry protesters stormed the country's iconic doomed building, attempting to impede congressional certification of the presidency. Four people were killed at the buildings, where pipe bombs were found and defused. Some lawmakers called the act a coup attempt, a label in sharp contrast with what they put on protesters elsewhere, such as in Hong Kong. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, who called violent protests in Hong Kong a beautiful sight to behold, said breaching the Capitol complex is today's shameful assault on our democracy. Some U.S. officials and media caught rioters who set a man on fire in Hong Kong democratic heroes, but they condemned protesters sitting behind Pelosi's desk as rioters, extremists and thugs. In support of Hong Kong rioters, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said in 2019 that we very much want to make sure that those folks that have the desire in their hearts to protest, to speak out on behalf of their own freedom, their own liberty to do so. However, on Wednesday, he tweeted, violence, putting at risk the safety of others, including those tasked with providing security for all of us, is intolerable both at home and abroad. What's the reason for such a stark difference in the reactions and the choice of words? It is America's double standard on food display. American Palestinian scholar Yusuf Monoyer wrote on Twitter, we exported so much democracy that we don't have any left. After touting democracy across the world, hypocrisy is the only thing left in the United States of America. This has been a Xinhua Commentary.